Hi there. My name is Jesse Mwai. I'm a pastor with Crisis Young Sub Ministries. And as you can see, I'm holding a guitar. I love music and I want us to have a discussion in this episode about music and especially because we are believers and I know we all love music. Let's talk together. The place of music in Christianity and especially in church worship I think has been a subject of much discussion and much debate. The question of secular music versus Christian music um, has also been a subject of discussion. There are all kinds of varying opinions and views out there. Maybe some of them are not really correct and maybe some of them are closer to the truth. But I want us to have a discussion because this is a topic that I always get questions about, especially from our younger people asking, Pastor, what about secular music? Or sometimes the latest has been, Pastor, what about uh, maybe a gospel musician teaming up with a secular musician? Uh, what is that all about? And sometimes people are getting upset. For, for, for instance, recently, of course, you know, Tasha Cobbs uh, teamed up with Nicki Minaj and uh, they did this song together. As we all know, uh, Tasha Cobbs has written wonderful, wonderful Christian music, has been a blessing to the body of Christ. But Nicki Minaj, of course, we all know, is a secular musician. But they came together and they teamed up together and that has elicited a lot of conversation and debate. Is it good? Is it right? Is it wrong? Some are for it, others against it. It has created a lot of confusion. My take, and I just want to, maybe this is a time for us just to think together because we cannot be dogmatic about some of these things. I think my take is this, number one, that creativity and uh, all kinds of creativity, whether it is music, whether it is art, all these things are given to us by our Creator, God. And they are given to us so that we can glorify Him. I know of people who paint and they do so to the glory of God and they have wonderful paintings. I know people who create sculptors and uh, amazing job. And I also know people, many, and I know you know many people who write music to the glory of God because our giftings are primarily to glorify God. As to the whole uh, issue about secular music, see, at the end of the day, when God gives us the, a particular gift, He may not force us to use that gift to glorify Him. Some use it to glorify him, others probably will use it maybe to write secular music. But it is not our job as God's people to condemn people. Because people do all kinds, of, all kinds of things for their own particular reason. I think the whole issue about Tasha Cobbs, I'm sure she had a right motive in inviting Nicki Minaj to be part of this particular project. And you never know. You never know because God works in amazing ways. Maybe this would be the seed that has been planted in Nicki Minaj's life that will probably change her life, that will probably draw her to salvation. So it is not for us to condemn and say that that person cannot do this, that cannot, the person cannot do the other. Secondly also, God can use anybody. Whether you're a Christian or not, do you know that God can use donkeys? If he can use a donkey, believe me, he can also use you. He can also use me. So it is not for us to, to determine who God can use and who he cannot use. That is his prerogative. As I finish, let me just throw this challenge to you. Are you gifted in anything, in one way or the other? I challenge you. I think it is safer for you to use that gift to bring glory and honor to the name of the Lord. Sometimes when we use that gift, maybe for secular purposes, Sometimes we mislead people. Sometimes we send the wrong message. Sometimes we end up glorifying other things other than God. It is only safer when we use our gift and our talents to glorify Him. So whether it is a gift of music, please use it for the glory of God. God bless you. Thank you for watching Sitam Church online, even in this discussion, and I'm sure next time we'll take it to the next level. Join us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and uh, you can also call us, get in touch with us, or you can even visit us, maybe in any one of our churches in the different locations. God bless you. My name again, Jesse Moai, and I'm a pastor with Crisis Answer Ministries.